Well, Tessa, this is a feature that's supposed to be used for you and I to be able to share stories, for us to share moments and memories with our friends. And let me show you how easy it is to use Facebook Live. First of all, you open the app. Right top left, you see this button. You simply press that, boom, Facebook Live. And now if I turn the camera around, you can see what I'm seeing. It's a sigil of my cameraman here. I could just push this big blue button at the bottom that says start live video. And I would start publicly live streaming a video. That is how easy it is to use Facebook Live. And it was this feature that was used by the attacker in the Christ and the, the Christchurch mosque attack used by that terrorist. And it is this feature, particularly that Jacinda Ardern, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, focused in on. In a piece in the New York Times, she wrote this, social media needs reform. She goes on to say, no one should be able to broadcast mass murder. It was by turning a feature designed for all of us to use into something so much more sinister that has given rise to what uh, Jacinda Ardern is calling the Christchurch call. That is, if you like, the main message she wants, but this is a much wider conference about tackling extremism online. Let's just bring you up what Facebook have had to say, because of course after Christchurch, their live streaming um, platform has been under increased focus. Well, they've said now they're going to introduce a one strike policy. That is, if anybody breaks the rules of Facebook on Facebook Live, even by simply sharing a video from a terrorist organization without context, so even if it's not their video, they're re-uploading it, they will be one strike and then they will get this, restricted access. Now that could be up to a 30-day ban, they say. The idea here is to clamp down on people breaking the rules and using Facebook Live to do it. They also say here, one of the difficulties they said was tracking down the re-uploads of the live stream from Christchurch. So they're investing 6.7 million euros into developing more advanced software with academics, with industry leaders to detect footage that might have even been changed ever so slightly so that this kind of content, as in Christchurch, can't keep popping up again and again and again. So Facebook were under huge pressure. Jacinda Ardern making, if you like, her, her main entry point into this conference, clamping down on the abuse of live streaming software. But look, just remember a few years ago, it was ISIS propaganda that was being manipulated. So there's a wider question here about how the internet companies are responding to the challenge. Um, Adam Hadley here spoke to Jacinda Ardern yesterday. He works for a company called Tech Against Terrorism. This is what he had to say on that point. So smaller platforms present a real challenge in terms of, well, we need to outreach with these platforms, we need to upskill them, provide resources, but also an opportunity to understand more about how terrorists are using the internet and intervene accordingly. So the idea here, more needs to be done, not just on the big platforms, on the small ones too, Tessa. A big conference, a lot being discussed, and of course uh, the Christchurch call, many leaders saying they're keen to answer it. All right, thanks for that, uh, Alex. And here with us in the studio.